everybody, it's Melissa and Stephanie and today we are bringing you guys another thrift haul. Yay! So excited for this one. We had no intention of going to the Goodwill Saturday sale but somehow we ended up there very late in the afternoon so we thought we wouldn't find anything but that didn't happen. We found a lot of good stuff so let's just jump right into the haul. So these things are in no particular order. The first thing that I found was this Gap button-down denim dress. I know what you're thinking, Steph, don't you have something similar to this already? Yes, I do, but this is in a darker wash than my other one, and I actually wear that dress a lot, so for $5, I thought this was a great find. It is a little long, so I'm gonna cut the bottom of it off and just kind of leave the edges raw, pull some of those fibers away so it's like a raw edge, and you guys will probably see this very often because I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. So I generally don't have a lot of luck with jewelry on half off day sales. I used to go way back in the day and be able to bring home a huge bag full of stuff. We were actually talking about that. And now I don't find really anything. I don't usually go through the jewelry so I was really lucky to find this. I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of our vlogs but I've been looking for a squash blossom necklace for a very long time now. I've been outbid on several squash blossom necklaces on eBay so I haven't really been looking on eBay for a while and then I just happened to find this hopefully you guys can see it it is a squash blossom necklace but it is all completely made out of safety pins and then little turquoise beads so it's obviously not probably turquoise but I thought it was really cool and I even remember saying to myself that I want to find a squash blossom necklace at the thrift store so in a way I kind of did I mean it is a squash blossom it's not exactly what I wanted but then again I wasn't willing to pay upwards of $70 on eBay and this one was only two bucks so you saw Melissa try these on in the blog. She did not end up getting a pair, but I did because these were a great find and they are these J brand flare jeans. I'm all about that flare, you guys already know that. And these were $4 on sale for J brand. Such a good deal. These are more of a higher rise than most jeans are. And they had four pairs of these, which yes. was kind of strange. strange. So I picked the one that looked like it was in the best condition. I'm going to hem these so that I can wear them with flats. So I have three different pairs of flare jeans. All of them are going to be hemmed differently so I can wear one with heels, one with boots, and one with flats. So I did not have a lot of luck early on in the day. Everything else that I have left is from the last Goodwill. So I really hit the jackpot at the last Goodwill. First, I found a denim jacket by Isaac Mizrahi for Target. And you guys can see it has that little raw hem, raw detail on basically the collar, the pockets, and the bottom as well. And I've been seeing that raw edge, raw hem everywhere. They have one. At Zara I get a lot of inspiration from stuff that I see at Zara and then I go to the thrift store and try to find it for less so this one was four dollars and it does have a three-quarter length sleeve which at first I wasn't really feeling but I do have really short arms my arms are not long every time I try to wear something I find myself having to roll the sleeves up so I think the three-quarter sleeve is actually gonna work for me so this top you're either going to love or hate right when I saw it I loved it it just kind of like inspired me when I saw it and it is this printed button down I think it's by Be So Be So correct me if I'm wrong on that but it is just awesome to me it's just the colors, the brown that I'm really into right now, the reds that everybody says red looks good on me and I'm not usually a red fan so for four dollars this kind of reminds me of like this 70s, 70s. Uh, trend that's going on right now so I'm not going to spend a ton of money on something that's just a trend so I thought this was perfect, it's so soft, it's awesome. Maybe when it gets down to like 70 this will be good to wear because that's kind of cold yeah. for me but I'm in love with this top. So I have another accessory and it is a belt. I don't think I've picked up a belt recently, but I always go through the belts. Actually, I lied. I picked up a belt in the last thrift haul, so that's really lame. <laughs> okay, wow. And 
I thought this was really cool right when I saw it. Punk and I went to the fitting room and then we couldn't figure out how it was supposed to work because I'm like, wait a second, if you wear it like this, you can't see the other buckle. And then we realized the buckles both go on the front. It's awesome. So cool. It's like the belts that I see everywhere on Instagram. Yeah, I see the one that Kendall everywhere. Jenner wears all the time. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what, that's what I, I thought too. One. And I think this one's really cool. I love the color. It's made in Morocco. This was what two bucks. This is better over something, not necessarily through belt loops because you have to basically get this through a belt loop, which doesn't always work. I did try it on a pair of denim shorts and it was a struggle, but it looked really cool. So for two bucks, I found a really cool belt. So in the last haul, we mentioned how we got in an argument over that gold high neck top. And a lot of the comments were like, was that real? Because it seemed really awkward. Yes, it was real. We really got in a fight about that top. So this time around, I found my own high neckline top and it's just, gray with more of that white detailing. It also has it on the sleeve. Really high neckline. Awesome. I think this is more my style than the gold one. I'll yeah. say that. I still really like the gold one. And how much was this? Three bucks? I thought it was awesome. It's it's nice. It's lightweight. It'll be great for like the fall, winter. I mean, I don't go to any winter parties. But yeah, but it's a bit more dressy. And yes, we really did get in a fight over that. The only reason you guys didn't hear the story is because the story took up way too much time and I had to cut that out when I was editing because it took up like three minutes. So these last three things that I have to share with you guys were already featured in the vlog, but if you don't watch our vlogs, you get to see them now. So the first is this knitted tank top. It's this nice creamy color and this was better quality and for a second I was like hmm I'm not gonna buy that because it's four dollars and that's the price of a jacket but it is Saks Fifth Avenue so hey you got a nice luxurious piece right here and it is very long. It is a size large but I do like that. At first I was like maybe I can wear that as a dress. And Punk was, was like, like mm, no, no. <laughs> no. So then I thought, oh, I could layer something under it. You guys know me, layering. It's gonna be fall here in two more months, maybe. So the next thing that I picked up, I was kind of on the fence about because I loved the color of it, but just the fit was kind of off and I was unsure, but for $3, I know I'll get use out of it. And it's just this 100% silk long sleeve top. And what I really was drawn towards, I saw the back first, was this like medallion oh, yeah, on the back. So cool. I was like, this is awesome. And it's very large. This is marked an extra small. So I'm not really sure. I was thinking I could wear it as a dress because I am very short with my uh, black Zara suede boots for like a fall look. Or I was thinking that I could wear it unbuttoned over like a black skirt and a bralette of some sort with black uh, Zara boots yeah, for a too. fall winter look as well. And I know Makeup by Mandy, she just like buttons up the top button right here on some of her longer shirts. So I was kind of like, that's kind of cool Makeup <laughs> by Mandy. So that's what I was thinking I could do with this top. So I had no intention of buying any white or cream tops long sleeve, but I was looking for something just to try on with the knitted tank top and punk, she came through. I was like, hey, find me something white. And she was like, white doesn't really match with it. It's cream. So then she found me a cream one that matched perfectly. And it is just this button down with pockets on the front. It's actually an extra small, which I never find extra smalls. It is a bit boxy, but hey, I think it looks great with the knitted <laughs> tank. Like so much so that I bought it. I originally I was like, mm, I don't know. And I was like, okay, it looks so good that I'm going to buy it. So this will be layered under the tank. And I have a lot of button downs from the thrift store, but the one that I have that's my favorite, I got it way back in the day. I actually did a DIY and I put the little diamantes on the collar when that was really trendy and basically ruined the shirt because I never wear it anymore. So I needed a new one anyways. And this one was only three bucks. So I have saved the best for last and I'm so excited for this. This was $4 and it's this black leather fringe jacket. So nice. The fringe continues on the oh, back. What? 
and on the sleeves. Oh. It's perfect. This is a size medium. It came with shoulder pads. I mm -hmm. cut the shoulder pads out of it and it fits so well. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I have short arms. It's amazing. It's the best find ever. I was so surprised that they didn't consider this a Halloween costume because True. some of the more quirkier items yeah. they'll just put in the Halloween costume section. So this was $4.00. So excited for fall, winter for this. You guys know me, I have that one faux leather motorcycle jacket that I wear all the time. But this one, statement. The fringe, I'm gonna look like I ride a Harley. Yeah, basically. So I'm excited for that. So I get inspired by a lot of things I, number one, see on Instagram, like different brands that are up and coming, or things that I see people wearing on Instagram, like they're wearing the brand. So I clearly remember I saw Margaret Zhang wearing a top by Georgia Alice, and I was like, okay, this brand is awesome. So if you go on their Instagram, you're going to see a top that is, like I was kind of maybe inspired by, you can see the inspiration because I know there are going to be a lot of you that are out there like, Melissa, you done lost your mind with that. Like, no, you did not need to buy it. It is this, <laughs> sorry, takes up the whole frame, this really oversized, it is an extra large and it's made in San Francisco. So that's pretty cool. I don't think it's meant to be worn off the shoulders guys, but that's how I'm going to wear it. I think it looks awesome. I love the color. It's not satin, it's, it's not that light nude pink. pink. I mean, maybe I could use a color remover and remove some of the color, but I kind of like it the way that it is right now. I mean, hey, for $2.50, I wanted to try it out. I think it's awesome. You guys are probably thinking, no, don't wear that. But I think once you see it in a full lookbook, I'm not sure if I want to just cut the hem of it a bit because it is a bit long on me, so I'm not really sure. I'm going to go back and look at my inspiration piece and then go back and look at this and then figure out what I want to do with it. So that is everything for this thrift haul. We hope you guys all enjoy it. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for more thrift hauls in the future. And if you have not done so already, make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 300,000. I think we'll make it by the end of the year. I'm very optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. I will send you a tweet or a picture of Healy's. Because we actually did find a pair of Heelys at the thrift store. I don't think we vlogged it, but one of them was missing the, the wheel in the heel, so that kind of sucked. But if not, I know you would have bought them. I totally, like, low-key would have, but never have shown them to anybody. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see, see you guys next time. time. Bye! Bye.